y'all it's summer christiana and welcome to my channel today we're in jonesboro georgia at a back to school event getting these kids ready to go back to school today i'm speaking to them about my transition from high school to college and just sharing my testimony and giving them some good tips and keys about college as well as the work life and things like that so let's hop into this video Over at the discount mall. And she was sitting, she has a Photoshop over there. She does photos and she has little things that she's selling there, the charcoal. Her teeth are white like piano keys. She's a model, she's an actress, she does it all. So I invited her to speak to the young girls today. You know, speak to all of y'all as a whole on, you know, what you can expect in school and also beyond school. So y'all give a round of applause for actress, model, Christiana! Thank you again. Um, first off, I want to say thank you, uh, Doll Faith, for inviting me out. Ever since I met her, she's been a ray of sunshine, so thank you. Um, my name is Summer Christiana. I graduated from Mundy's Mill High School. Y'all know where that is? Right around the corner. Yeah, I graduated there class of 2016. Um, as she said, I'm a model. I do uh, media and entertainment. I'm a Comcast television host. I have my own show called Urban Music Report ATL. And on that show, I just interview different artists and people in the industry and stuff like that. I'm um, a Yummy Yoni Pearls brand ambassador. Uh, they're partnered with the Photoshop. My partner's over there, we all work together. That's how I met them, through Yummy Yoni Pearls. Then uh, they opened up the Photoshop and I came with them to do that. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I sell my own customized phone cases with any image of your choice and accessories. And I also do um, hosting and things like that. I started modeling when I was younger. I did uh, beauty pageants. So I was a little baby on the stage that my mom would carry. And um, I have like the fluffy dresses and stuff on there. Y'all know, y'all familiar with beauty pageants? Can I get some handshakes, some yes? <laughs> All right. Um, from there, I like the attention and dressing up and things like that. So I started to do the morning news announcements at school, in middle school. How many of y'all are in middle school? Can I get some hand raises? Or going to middle school? Okay, cool. So I started doing that, and then I did the morning news announcements all the way up until I got to high school. Once I got to high school, I did, um, no, excuse me, after high school, I got to college. I go to Kennesaw State now. But once I got to college, I did an internship with TST Network, and that's how I ended up getting my platform, Urban Music Report ATL. I believe that was like my second semester of college. And that's where I really found my passion for media and entertainment in middle school. Um, some people that I've interviewed on the show are Prodigy from Mindless Behavior. Y'all know who Mindless Behavior is? Yes. Yeah. Um, and then Keisha Cole's sister. I started taking modeling series in um, high school about my second year, and that's when I started working with different individuals in Atlanta, like uh, some clothing designers, Wisdom ATL, Labor Royalty, Viber Africa, and things like that. My senior year of high school, I produced a fashion show through Grace Girls, which is a mentoring group at Monday's Mill High School. Um, once I did that, I started to do my model training workshops. And um, Diamond, she actually came through, I think, with some of her friends to one of my model training workshops. And I just teach people in, what to expect in the industry, how to walk, how to, um, what to expect in your modeling bag, and things like that. Um, I'm saying all of this to say um, I'm only 21 years old. So you can do whatever you want to do at any age. It doesn't matter how old you are or if they tell you you need to be a certain age to do this or do that. Um, 
one thing I did want to say was don't chase money. Do what makes you happy and what you like. And to also make sure that you have multiple sources of income. So I know some of y'all are little teeny weeny, so you're not really thinking about that right now. But some of you are older, like you two in the front, or even you, Jordan. Make sure you have multiple sources of income. Um, one thing that my mom and my dad told me is to make sure you have your main job. That's what's going to pay your bills. If you don't pay bills yet, it's completely fine. You can uh, put it in a savings account. Each time you get paid, put some money away so you can have that later on down the line for maybe something that you want, that you're building up towards, or even your future, your college fund, or anything like that. I want to say that college is not for everybody. That's completely fine. I'm just telling y'all my testimony about what I do and what route I decided to go down. Um, have a plan with realistic goals and have a time frame for you to, met, to meet that plan, whether it's career life or going to school to further your education. So I started at a two-year, which is Georgia Highlands. That's the shirt that I have on right here. They have a few different campuses. I went to the Marietta campus that's partnered with Kennesaw State. I graduated from uh, Georgia Highlands with my associate degree in arts, and I currently go to Kennesaw State, which is up north in Kennesaw. That's where I live. Um, so I think it was great to get the opportunity to have the two-year college experience as well as a four-year. And luckily for me, the schools were partnered, so going to the community college, I saved a lot of money versus doing my prereq uh, classes like my math, science, and all that at the four-year college. I ended up staying on campus the second semester, commuting back and forth, so that gave me different views on how college life was. I commuted back and forth, so that gave me the opportunity to figure out my schedule, how I was going to work around that, and things of that nature. Second semester, I moved on campus. So factoring that in to being free from home, not living with my mom, my dad, um, them not waking me up in the morning and things like that, living on campus taught me that, to live independently by myself. How many of y'all live with y'all parents? <laughs> How many of y'all plan on moving out? Perfect. <laughs> if you had the opportunity <laughs> to move out and live on campus, I definitely recommend that you do that. It might be hard. And even though you're saying that you want to move out, when the time comes, you're going to be like, wow, I miss my mom, I miss my dad, I miss my sister, I miss my dogs. Because for me, um, I used to go to home every single weekend just because I miss my mom and my family and everything like that. But if you have the opportunity to live on campus, I definitely recommend that you do that because that gives you the full college experience. I just wanted to leave with a couple um, things about advice. Anybody have any questions first? No questions? Okay. So if you're interested, this is mainly for high school and college students, but I'll tweak it down so some of the younger people can use it as well. It might sound cliche, but friends do come and go. So my girls, boys will always be there, so make sure that education is first. And for my guys, girls will always be there, so make sure that education is first. Like I said, it does sound cliche, but it's really, it's the truth. Um, friends do come and go. Um, the friends that you have now, you won't necessarily have them in college. They might be there, but y'all might not be as close as you were. So just hold on to that. It's not the end of the world if you lose friends. Just make sure you stick to the goal that's in your mind and accomplish that goal. What are some um, careers that y'all are interested in? Let's ask these ladies over here. They just graduated from high school, right here in the pink. Ladies in the pink. <laughs> I'm gonna pick on Diamond first because I know your name. Okay. So go ahead. What you interested in, Diamond? Okay. What kind of business? Um, so glasses and hair. Okay. Have you started?
What type of business? Sports, what about you? NFL player. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, the courses that you take in, y'all in high school? Middle school. Middle school? College. Middle school and college, okay. So the courses that y'all are taking in middle school and college, make sure they relate to the business that you want to start. I know in high school you might not be able to pick your, um, your classes like you want to, so just try to figure out how the class that you're taking applies to whatever you want to do. In um, every class, make sure that you make a group me or have that one contact person in each class just so you'll know what's going on in class in case you miss a day. When you get to college, if you miss a couple days or if you show up late too many times, it impacts your grade negatively and you don't want that to happen. So if you're missing school now in high school, it might affect your grade because you missed some work, but in um, college, your grade is going to drop after so many tardies and so many absences. So make sure you're there, make sure you're on time, and just present and alert. Hang out with people with like goals like you. Who wants to be a millionaire? Yeah. Who wants to have all A's? Yeah. So hang out with those type of people. If you you see your friends falling off, okay, well, maybe you can motivate them to get all A's. You see somebody in the class that has all A's, hang around that person because whatever they do is going to rub off on you. If you don't understand something that the teacher is going over, make sure you talk to the teacher about that and stay after class. I mean, it might hurt a little bit. You might miss recess or your free time, whatever you have. But at the end of the day, that is worth missing that free time so you can understand that lesson. And if it gets to the end of the semester and your grade is kind of low, more than likely they'll give you those points that you need to understand, uh, I mean, to graduate the class with a high grade. Be yourself and don't try to fit in or let anyone change you for the negative. Treat every single assignment that you have like it's the most important one. Even if you don't have time to finish the assignment all together, do it the most of the assignment that you can and turn that in because any grade is better than a zero. Any questions? Okay, y'all on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah, can y'all pull out y'all phones real quick? Open your Instagram. And then follow me at Summer Christiana. All right. Thank y'all. <laughs> and that was my experience at the Back to School Bash in Jonesboro, Georgia. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. And remember, summer may only be one season, but stick with me. We're in summer year-round. I'll see you next time. All right. Yeah.